You're welcome, Mr. Pigeon. And Mrs. Pigeon. No. <laughs> <laughs> Hello everyone, right now I'm in Yokohama and right behind me is Japan's largest Chinatown and I believe it still holds a title for being the biggest Chinatown in Asia. Excluding China of course, in that case it would just be called a town. Anyway, I know there are a lot of things that you can do in Yokohama like strolling around Yamashita Park, shopping at World Quarters and at Red Brick House, making cup noodles at the Cup Noodle Museum, or even going to an amusement park. But today, I'm going to be focusing on just Yokohama Chinatown. I'm super hungry and I'm ready to eat, so let's go. My name is Hannah and this is What You Hannah Do, Yokohama Chinatown. Woo! What you Hannah do, what you Hannah do when they come for you. Okay, since I'm a dork, a brief history. I promise it'll take less than 30 seconds and I'll get back to the food. Here goes. Yokohama Chinatown dates back to 1859 when Yokohama was opened as an international port. Many Western merchants came, but after silk and tea trade routes were established, there was an influx of Chinese settlers. At that time, foreigners could only live in certain areas, and so pretty soon, Chinatown was established. They even have their own temple. Anyway, back to the food. First up, Xiaolongbao. According to the TVs around the restaurant, you're not supposed to eat it in one bite because the soup's just gonna fill out. You're gonna open it like this to show the soup and then enjoy the soup first and then give it a bite. I have this thing called nekojita which is cat tongue and I don't do well with eating hot food but gotta eat it when it's hot, right? Oof, a little bit scared. Itadakimasu! Oh wow! Mm. Soup's really flavorful. <laughs> it's too hot for me to eat. Mm. The wrapper is not too thick, so that's a good sign. That's what it looks like inside. So the bottom part is a little crunchy and it's chewy. So it balances out the really soft texture of the fillet. I can understand why it's really famous here. Mm. Next up, Peking duck. So here we have it. Honestly, I've only had a few Peking duck before and I can't say I really love it and most of it has always just been meh, it's okay. This is from our famous restaurant here in Chinatown and let's see if it's really good. Here we go. Mm. Most of the picking duck I've tried is kind of dry. This one is juicy and it's really tender. far from full, we gotta find the next one. Since Japan has been doing pretty well recently during the pandemic, the rules are a little more lax now compared to when it first broke out. So as you can see, people still flock here to grab some delicious Chinese food. Imagine what it was like before. Next we have this really big piece of chicken. I'm gonna show you how big it is. Whoa! Take a bite of it. 
see if it really is finger licking good. Mm. It's quite different from the normal like Emily Mart chicken that we have. It's kind of really citrusy. I'm getting a little hint of tanginess. I'm not sure if they use some sort of lemon or citrusy fruit with the seasoning, but it's quite good. Mmm, it's super juicy. So I'm walking to the next door and I think I really want to get fried squid. I'm doing my best to pace myself because I don't want to tap out this time like I did in the convenience store video. So, whew, I'm going to do my best. It's bigger than my head. Oh my gosh. I'm also starting to get really thirsty, so beer. I think this is the best combination. Fried squid with beer. I don't think it get any better than this. crunchy outside inside it's really tender and soft nice blend of textures inside my mouth I'm enjoying this so much mmm I wish I could pack this up and give it to you guys it's so good mmm mm. I'm in heaven right now Up next, a sweet steamed bun. Ah, look how cute! It's a sad panda though, because it knows I'm gonna eat it. Arr! Time to eat. Sad Mr. Panda. Sad Mr. Panda has chocolate custard inside. If you don't want to see Panda cry, look away. Look away now. Goodbye, Mr. Panda. Ooh. Hmm. It's really soft, fluffy. Then when it gets to your mouth, it's chewy. Not bad. You're definitely paying more for the panda face than you are for the taste. I wouldn't say it's anything special. Sorry, Mr. Panda. Chinatown isn't just one big and long street. There are so many other side streets with restaurants and shops. You can totally make a day out of it and have breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks if you're super into Chinese food you have a million different choices of where to eat. We're in Chinatown. I had to have goma dango, or in the Philippines we call it buchi. I love, love, love buchi, so I can't wait to try this. And of course, I also have some boba, milk tea, or tapioca. It's still warm, so I'm sure it's really good. So we've been eating a lot of salty things, so of course, naturally, I'd start to crave for sweet things. But now that I'm eating this, and this is really, really sweet, I gotta eat something salty after this. It's a vicious cycle. Nah, <laughs> Great excuse to eat more, Hannah. Mm. On our way to find another place to get some <clears throat> salty food, we found this cool shop. So if you really, really liked the dumplings that you ate, they have ones you can take home to heat up and eat, 
or buy as souvenirs for family and friends. They even have some beers from China and Taiwan. Last stop for the day. You can't leave Chinatown without getting some noodles, right? I feel like having this, guys. This restaurant is well known for its flavorful food, reasonable prices, and its handmade noodles. Look at that! Skills! I apologize for the next few shots. I think the camera was full too, because all of the shots from now are blurred. Sorry about that, guys. I have this. In the English menu, it says gruel chicken. Whatever this is, it looks really good. They didn't have the original jellyfish that I wanted, so I ended up with. Ta da! Also, a different type of jellyfish. I know it doesn't look so appetizing, but it smells really good. And that. Tan tan men. But the noodles are thicker. Mm. Mm. It's a little bit of smokiness in the broth. It's really, really good. Let's try the soup. My tum tum is happy. I'm so full, you guys. I don't have pink. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you like this video, click like down below. And if you want to see more content about Japan, you know what to do. So until the next video, Janet, and see you next time. Woo!